How you doing, man? Sure. Can I pray with you? Sure. All right. Can we pray? Sure. All right, let's pray. All right. Almighty God, you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We pray that you purge hatred from our hearts. Amen. We pray that other people that are different than us, that we embrace them. We pray that people that worship you differently, that we encourage them and love them. We pray that you purge all hatred from our hearts. Almighty God. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. I hope you guys are purging up your hatred one day. We are. We are. We're doing what Apostle Paul said. Get the fuck out of this neighborhood. Oh, you're a nasty man. Out of the abundance the of the heart, the mouth speaks. You're not a Christian, dude. You got a foul mouth. Woohoo! There comes the up. So he prays for us and then starts cussing. There goes the up. He prays in one part of his mouth and the other one cursing. Wow. It's all on video, dude. Wow. Takes all kinds. Woo! You'd have heard us, you'd have. Be in jail by now. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're in Helena, Montana today. Kind of smoky. There's apparently some forest fires somewhere, I think in Canada. But we're at the Mormon Temple grand opening today. So I'm going to take a little drive around the neighborhood here just to give you an idea what everything looks like. And then we're going to be posting some signs and parked out in front of the temple here just to uh, remind people of what the difference is between Christianity and Mormonism. And uh, we've already given out one little booklet to a Christian lady that lives across the street from the temple. And so we're going to drive around the neighborhood here and see what happens. Sometimes uh, in other venues that we've done, uh, they'll call the police and say that we can't take their picture, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, they'll be taking our picture. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing how there's always a double standard in situations like this. But the Mormons, they normally try to be somewhat polite. They normally, what they do is they come out and they try to love bomb you. They uh, bring you cookies or they'll bring you something to drink. And then yesterday they had a guy come out. Yeah, would you like to take a tour of the temple? I said, why? It's just a building. Well, well, yeah, but have you ever been through one? It's just beautiful. I said, yeah, we've been through a few of them. So we told him about some of the temples we've been through over the past 25 years or so. And, well, yeah, but you've never been through this one. And uh, eventually he left us alone, but man, he was very desperate. See, if you go through the temple, though, you have to sit through a barrage of propaganda. You got to watch a couple of movies, and then you go through the ceiling room and all these different places. And of course, that exposes you to their propaganda, and they're in hopes of uh, winning you over. That's not going to happen here. So, there we have it right there. So, now you've seen the whole temple, at least the outside of it. So we're going to park now and get out some of our signs and see how things go. Okay, right away when we started putting our signs out, this local guy stopped and he is really upset because apparently the Mormons uh, put this thing up and there's no street lights anywhere in this area and the neighbors all want it that way. They want it to be quiet and dark. But then the Mormons put in the temple and they got all kinds of lights which are blinding at night. The whole area is lit up and therefore uh, the people have to have their curtains closed. They've made a lot of enemies here. So that's uh, very interesting.
And here comes the nasty old woman again. Oh, no, it's not. I'm fine. I just want to take a picture. I'm going to okay. get a picture of your license plate. Okay, oh, good, good. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. So what do you do for, for all these things? You just be like a bunch of assholes? <laughs> yeah, we just like interviewing guys like you that just cuss us out. Oh, that's good. Yeah. They don't, even, they don't even live here. They don't even live in Montana. I live oh, here. No. I live here, too. Oh, no. No, we, we don't, don't live, live in here. Montana. So you got kids. Talk to me, buddy. Trust me, the hey, world is alive. Yeah, you got a foul mouth. I don't need to talk to you, dude. Oh, come on. Why don't you try to convert me? No, you're, you got a foul mouth. They don't oh, need to talk yeah. to you. Yeah, you're blocking traffic as well. <laughs> Man, you need Jesus. Oh, yeah. You need you Jesus. Don't know the first thing about you Mormon. need Jesus, dude. And so you do you, no man. have no idea that Mormons are Christians and they're. Ah, sure, they are. They're highly. They're, and they're very. What religion are you? I'm a Christian. They oh, won't that's say. bullshit. They you and Trump, say. I suppose? Yeah, they won't say what they are. And Catholicism and, and uh, Mormonism oh, are. Are you recording me? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Do I get a copy of that? Yeah, look it up on YouTube. It'll be on there in a little while. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't, use, I don't do it to YouTube. I don't have to go to a false website. A false website? <laughs> Wow. Takes all kinds. So what do you do? Go to different towns and just try to connect people? We expose cults, man. That's cults. what we do. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, dude. Well, my opinion is to get out of here. Well, guess what? You're insulting me. Nobody's listening to you. Call the police, dude. Why? Well, you want us to if leave. If you're such a, a God-fearing person, why do this? Why don't you be a good person? Get out of because here. Because we're being a good person and being here. Yeah. Oh, give me a break. Yeah. Smile and laugh at we're, we're just We're just reminding guys Jesus. like you that you need Jesus, man. He shed his blood for your sins. You need him. You don't know the first You thing. need to be born again, what, dude. What is your religion? Tell Jesus me. Christ shed his blood for our sins. What's your religion? He rose from the dead. I the Pope. I'm just a Christian. We just follow Jesus. Jesus is our Lord. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, dude. I don't want you to get out of here. That's my opinion. Well, you're entitled to it. Yeah. What are you going to do? People like you is why this country is so divisive. Really? So, so are you on a Trump side? Do has not, Trump? This is not a political statement, dude. I'm asking you. Well, I'm not answering you. So give it up. Are you too scared? You think, oh, I, you think I'm, if I'm scared, why would I be standing out here You're talking, talking to you? <laughs> dude. Oh, give me a break. Where were you born? Wow. You can't do a sentence without... He's just full of the F word. Yeah, that's right. He gets the anger He's just, just foul. <laughs> out of, like you. out yeah. of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's oh, what Jesus says. So, so you got yeah. a big uh, Bible bumpers group, I suppose? I don't know. Well, look, look us up. Look us up. We'll be on YouTube. We'll be on YouTube in a little while. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Well, not everybody. A lot of people are glad we're here because of the lighting problem. That's different. That's different. I'd say it goes with the whole package. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we're praying for you, mate. We're praying for you. Wow. I would say he was upset. All right, so here we are distributing uh, some of our booklets in Helen. And lo and behold, who do we run into with this bloke here on a bicycle? Mountain it's, man. Uh, so tell us your story, man. What, you want the whole one? Well, the condensed oh, one. Okay. You're, you're Christian, obviously. It's yes, a big uh, cross I, I, around I, your neck there. I came, came to Christ in about 05. Yeah. Is, um, I basically started going to church to get fed because I got kicked out of the local um, um, 
homeless shelter. Oh, I okay. did something stupid, wrote something nasty on the meal sheet. Sorry oh. about that. Yeah, well, we made mistakes, huh? I've been getting fed ever since. Yeah. Now, um, if you want to, you know, I got. Yeah? No. Is, Born again, okay. Well, nope, that is. Uh, okay, I have had tattoos beforehand, you know, three of them. Yeah. Is tried to get this one removed. Yeah, that's it. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, that's expensive. Can't afford to get them uh, a good cover up, so I had them crossed out, just like Jesus did oh, I for see. our sins. Gotcha. Yeah, that you makes know, sense. And that's by their. No. Oh. Okay. But, yeah. um, yeah, I've just been right. loving the Lord and uh, going to. Uh, can I plug my church? Sure. Hey, uh, Fortress of Joy Church. Okay. In Helena, Montana. There you go. Well, All right, well, fellow believers. Amen. All right, so we're basically doing the same thing, trying to reach people and get people out of confused situations and get them out of cults and get them out of sin and get them pointing in the right direction. Well, um, I've been listening to the uh, uh, Jeremiah, um, um, what's his name, Jeremiah? He's on the radio. Um, I, I'm terrible with names, but um, uh, he has a book on um, where do we go now or where do we go from now? Okay. And um, I'm definitely going to be getting that book because it has to do with end times and we are in the end times. Yeah, no doubt about that. I mean, you read the book of Revelations and read newspaper, it's almost verbatim, just didn't think of you know, older language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, hey, we we got to get on down the road, so it was good talking with you, and thanks for uh, waving and making contact. God bless, God bless. All right, adios. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.